What's up, guys? Welcome to this new series on Future DDS, where you get to follow me on my DAT journey. This is going to include weekly update videos, a day in the life, and a final video summarizing my entire experience. The reason we wanted to do this is to provide you all with a viewpoint that isn't retrospective, so you can see what it feels like going through this process while in the moment. To begin, I just wanted to discuss my philosophy going into this exam. So based off the words of wisdom that I've received from dental students and dentists, they say, treat your studying like a full-time job, give yourself plenty of rest and breaks, focus on the subjects that are more predictable, so general chemistry, organic chemistry, and quantitative reasoning, and to begin studying for the math portion a little bit earlier on, because it is predictable and people didn't score as highly as they thought they would. And finally, something that I've learned after interviewing dozens of dental students is that a lot of people have scored very well on this test, say 24 and up, by only studying two months or even two weeks. I think there's a lot of luck involved. And if you take the entire pool of people who only study that amount, the number of people who get high scores is very low. And there's a reason why getting a 24 up puts you at the 90th percentile. So I wanted to be robust to the randomness of this exam. So I started studying about a year ago. Uh, I would do the daily warm-ups on DAT bootcamp and study about half an hour a day on average. And even if you don't wanna study that early on, that's totally reasonable, but I would recommend that every pre-dent do the daily warm-ups on DAT bootcamp just because you can get a great understanding of what the exam entails without having to expend a lot of effort. So for the resources that I used so far, I used AP Bio Cliff Notes, the DAT Bootcamp Biology Academy, and DAT Bootcamp, or excuse me, DAT Destroyer. I mainly studied for the bio section since I heard that's the most random part of the exam and I wanted to be able to ensure that I got a good score in that. So I found the information on AP Bio Cliff Notes to be a little too basic and I don't see why you would need it uh, if you have the DAT Bootcamp Biology Academy, which is also free. And for the DAT Destroyer, I think the general chemistry section and quantitative reasoning uh, were very good. However, the biology and organic chemistry section, uh, those seem unnecessarily difficult and had a lot of excess information in my opinion, which for an already extensive exam, uh, I think you would just wanna know what you need to know. And so now for the final nine weeks, I'll be using none other than DAT Bootcamp. Everyone I've spoken to loved the program and wouldn't have used anything else. And we here at Future DDS have even secured a promo code for you guys to get a little bit of a discount on the program. And the code will be found right here. So with that all being said, I'll be using Ari's schedule and just tailor it a little bit you know, to suit my needs. With this exam, you need to understand how you learn best and what you can do to absorb the most amount of information. I know that I study best in the morning when my mind is most fresh, so I'm gonna be studying in the morning. And with regards to the order of the subjects that I'll be studying, first I'm gonna be studying on the chemistry sections because it's a pr pretty predictable portion and it's also a pretty big portion, so I wanna get that out of the way first. Then I'll be studying for the PAT by doing each generator on DAT Bootcamp for about 15 minutes. And then I wanna train myself for the reading comprehension portion. So I'm just gonna be reading uh, whatever books interest me just to learn to love to read so that when it comes down to the exam, I'll be happy to read all three passages that they give me. And then after that, I'm gonna be doing some math problems, like let's say 10 to 20 problems a day. And I think that'll be sufficient for now. And then after all of that, I'll move on to the biology portion since I have already studied for a year now and I feel very strong in biology. And the only way I'm really gonna supplement that is just by doing a lot of flashcards and the bio bites on DAT bootcamp. Overall, 
I don't plan to study more than four to five hours to begin with because I know that I can burn out very quickly. And this is a very long study process. I know that the amount of time that I put in after those four to five hours would not result in a proportional amount of knowledge gained. So I think it would just be better to rest. And so that will be my study method for entering the DAT. If any of you at home have more tips that you think I should incorporate, you can always leave a comment on this video or even DM us at Future DDS. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos for this series, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all at the next update video.